Hi Poo Poo's, that's Poo Poo and Cuff Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Poo Poo Strap. So this is a unsaid uh, feelings, love reading for Sagittarius, someone rising in Venus. If you are connecting with your person, even if y'all are together or not, if y'all are on speaking terms or not, these are just unsaid feelings that your person um, has for you. Or, or just what they're not telling you. So, keep in mind, these are general messages. They may or may not resonate. If they do, great. If they don't, you can always do a personal reading with me to find out what your story is. Or you can check out your moon rising when you're doing the same. So, the person that's connecting with Sagittarius or still in Sagittarius energy, romantically, what are some unsaid feelings that they have for Sagittarius and moon rising in Venus? What 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 they got going on? What they want to say? They're not expressing. Yeah. Unrequited love. So you and your person, your person feel like that y'all just ain't on the right page right now. Soulmate. They feel like you definitely their soulmate. Some of you guys, this person, yeah, separation and pay attention to the red flags. Some of you guys, this person feel like um, y'all unrequited for the moment. Um, y'all on two different pages right now. I just want one card, y'all. Chill, chill. Give me one more. They feel like you're their soulmate, though. Yeah, past life relationship as well. The bottom of the deck, forgiving and learning. So this person wants some type of forgiveness from you. This person feel like they let, they they known you before in the past life, or they just feel like you guys got that type of soulmate type of bond. Tell me more. Some of you guys be bleh. some of you guys can be connected with a Libra. So we got rest and rejuvenate, throat chakra, firm foundation. So this person sees growth and potential here. They do. They see growth and potential. Um, but right now I feel like this person feel like they need some or you are taking time out for yourself or just taking a break from communicating with them from this foundation that y'all got going on so let's see Tell me more with the tarot about this person's unsaid feelings towards Sagittarius, someone rising in Venus romantically. You make this person happy, but they feel like you walked away and left them out in the cold and ended this. But your person want to reconcile. Some of you guys found out about a third party. But other than that, this person want to reconcile. Yeah, some of you guys could be really connected with a Leo. So this person feel like you're trying to, like, tame yourself. Yeah, definitely. And take more control of your emotions or just things in your life in general. Yeah. And that could be the reason why you walked away.
Yeah, like I said, some of you guys can be really connected with a Libra. But um, this person felt like you walked away because you needed more balance. Or it just wasn't balanced with y'all. Yeah, especially with that unrequited. So you could be at a distance from this person. But this person just feel like you're not really making no decision when it comes to them. They could also just feel like you just playing it safe and just really being quiet. Some of y'all could be connecting with an Aries. We got Aries here twice. Yeah, does this person feel like you just really want to be free from them? Yeah, like I said, this person feel like you just playing it safe and being quiet because you could be heartbroken right now. They feel like that you're hurt, but you slowly are coming in for like a new type of beginning. I'm just saying these are the unsaid feelings that they, that they say you. Don't mean that that's how that's what it really is but they feel like this is a victory like y'all can have some type of victory with each other they could also feel like you're using your intuition when it comes to them yeah so they could also feel like you're not yeah you're playing it safe you're not really communicating you're not you they could feel like there's some secrets that's like going on but like you're not revealing nothing like, they just, like, completely in the dark. Y'all yeah, could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces. Ooh, they look at you like you they person. With the empress, because we got the emperor here. So this person feel like you 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 bossed up. Um, you got over that hurt and you let them go. And you just moved on, walked away, and was like, but you did it with class. Ooh. They feel like you're a wish fulfillment, but they also feel like you want to communicate. Well, they want to communicate with you. They could definitely feel like you're their soulmate. Definitely. Or with that Six of Cups. But they can also feel like you're still holding on to some some type of um, communicate, like some type of dis disagreement y'all had in the past. And you're like, you're trying to manifest something new. Yeah, something new. They could also feel like you have, um, that person love you. But they they get kind of confused. They feel like you love them too, but they get kind of confused because they feel like you like you play some type of man games, which leaves them in confusion. Well, they can also feel like you got options. That that could be another reason why you play man games. But your person loves you. Yeah, four wands. You can even be married to this person, or they just look at you like you can be like marriage material. Or like live together. Yeah. Six of Pentacles. So this person also feel like they didn't really give you the correct balance that they were supposed to give you. So this person with the five of wands, this person, like I said, y'all could have had some type of disagreement in the past and they feel like you could also still be holding on to that. Sometimes your person feel like you like to argue. So they can feel like you're moving away from the burdens of this too. Yeah. They got anxiety about this. I'm not even going to lie to you. Your person don't want to, they don't want to fight. <laughs> they don't want to fight. They don't want to argue. They don't want to fight. But they also have these emotions that they're not really telling you. 
I'm telling this person want communication. Yes, they trying to come go from single to being in a commitment. So they could be trying to bring some type of love offer that's gonna lead into a commitment, but they afraid that it's gonna end quick. They gonna that it's gonna end um, just as quick as it started. So what advice do you have for Sagittarius when it comes to the person with, that has the unsaid feelings with you? They are connecting with or still connected to their energy. What advice do you have for Sagittarius? So they're telling y'all to make the first move. I mean, if you still want this, but they say a uh, third quarter moon adjustments are needed. So there still need to be some type of change between you and this person. But if you still want this with the Cardinal Moon, be bold and make the first move. Then they're telling you guys to do that because you can still have it your way or whatever you want. You still want this person. So that is all the messages that I have for you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, everything is down in the description box below. Other than that, I love you guys, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, poo-poos.